two of the best of 2018. Eighth Grade. Great movie. I really like this movie. I liked how it worked in YouTube, which was really good. And the the young actress in this movie was so good. Uh, Bo Durnham did a really great job with the direction. And Elsie Fisher was so good in the movie as the lead actress. I wish she got an Oscar nomination for this. <laughs> and Josh Hamilton was really good in the movie too. Black Klansman. This was such a good movie. I really like this movie. Everybody in this movie did such a great job and it was done so darn well. Let's talk about Crazy Rich Asians. Yes, I did like this movie that much. I thought it was a very good romantic comedy. Yes, it is very formulaic, but I didn't mind the fact that it was very formulaic because I really liked the chemistry between the two leads. And the characterization was done very well. And I did like the the woman that plays the, the mother of, of our male lead, Henry Golding, who was really good in, in the movie. And I want him to play Sunfire in the MCU. <laughs> I think he's perfect for the role. Pat Pillion with Rami Malek. This movie was really good. Really liked Rami Malek in the movie. And Charlie Hunnam was really good in the movie, too. Searching with our new Sulu. John Cho was so good in this movie. This was such a good movie. I really liked how they worked in the, the internet and uh, Facebook and everything. A Star is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. This new version was really good i rewatched the one with judy garland which i have on blu-ray and i got this one on blu-ray too and i got the one with barbara streisand on blu-ray this movie was really good and i i really liked lady gaga and bradley cooper and sam elliott were really good in it too i really don't know which one i like more do i like the lady gaga and bradley cooper more or do i like the judy garland one more it's hard to pick <laughs> lady gaga or judy garland gee tough decision here <laughs> both of them are great actresses let's talk about the wife such a good movie i really like this movie it's a Glenn Close movie, and Jonathan Price is really good in it, too. Kristen Schlater is great. Let's talk about Colette, starring Keira Knightley. This movie was really, really good. I really liked Keira Knightley in the movie. I liked the fact that it was a period piece, and, and Keira Knightley playing a lesbian character was done very well. Let's talk about Bad Times at the El Royale. This movie was such a good film. Nice follow-up from Drew Gardard after Cabin in the Woods. I mean, Cabin in the Woods is a much better movie, but this was really good. I really liked Chris Hemsworth in the movie as the villain. Everybody in the movie does such a great job. I like the hotel setting, which gives it a nice clue feel. The fact that the hotel is smack dab in the middle of a state boundary. That was really cool. Like the state boundary goes right through the hotel. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's talk about The Hate You Give. This was a really great movie. Really liked this film. And I liked how they worked in Black Lives Matter movement into this. Let's talk about Beautiful Boy. This was a really great movie starring Steve Carell. Really liked the movie, even though it is about drugs and Steve Carell's son that has a drug problem. Steve Carell's got to figure out how to deal with the problem and everything. Mid-90s. This was such a good movie. Jonah Hill's directorial debut from A24. This was such a good movie. It's like... The Sandlot with Skateboards, basically. <laughs> it was so good. Can You Ever Forgive Me? Movie gave Melissa McCarthy an Oscar nomination. Wow, that's awesome. 
Hugh Grant is really good in it. Why didn't he get an Oscar nomination? <laughs> Let's talk about Widows. Great movie. Another movie that I wish Ocean's 8 was more like. Private War. This was such a good movie and a very good true story. The lead actress looks like uh, Nick Fury in it with that iPad that she gets in the movie. Michael B. Jordan in his back as... As Apollo Creed's son, Creed 2, this was so good. I really liked Michael B. Jordan in this movie, and he was doing such a great job in it. And I liked how they worked in the fact that he's got to fight against the son of Drago, which was done so well. And obviously, this is Sylvester Stallone's last movie in the Rocky lineup. He's never coming back, obviously. <laughs> He doesn't die in the movie, but I, I was almost expecting he was going to die. Instead, he goes to live with his son at the end. Green Book. This is a movie that has Viggo Mortensen and Mashallah Ali. Basically, it's driving Miss Daisy in reverse. This was a really good movie, but it was not worthy of Best Picture. I really don't think this movie should have gotten the Best Picture Oscar, really. I was fine with the game the nomination, but the fact that it got the Best Picture Oscar, really? But that's the way the Oscars roll. Uh, Spider-Verse. Great movie. Really like this movie. I'm glad that the movie that got the Best Animated Film from the Oscars is not a Disney film. The Disney and the Pixar movies that came out for that year were really good, but Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was so good. And I liked how it introduces uh, Miles Morales into the game. Let's talk about the movie that should have gotten Best Picture, the favorite. This was so good. Emma Stone, Rachel Weisz, and Olivia Coleman. All three of these women were so good. Nicholas Holt was really good in the movie. I love the fact that this is a period piece. The costume design was done so well. Yorgos Latimos did such a good job with the direction. I think this is my favorite film from Yorgos. Either this or uh, Killing of a Sacred Deer. It's, I think, yeah, I like this movie more than Killing of a Sacred Deer. Bumblebee, the best of the Transformer movies because all the other Transformer movies suck. <laughs> Bumblebee was so good in it Optimus Prime was very good and I liked the fact that when you get to see some of the other Transformers on Cybertron they actually feel like just the Transformers from the actual cartoon what a novel idea huh? <laughs> hey Michael Bay stay away from Transformers and let Steve McKnight do it okay <laughs> unfortunately Michael Bay still produced it but it was Still a great movie, and I like the fact that you can actually tell the difference between the Autobots and the Decepticons when they were fighting. Usually, it's hard to tell who the Autobots, who are the Decepticons, and Haley Stanfield did such a great job in this movie. I I even like John Cena in this movie, and I don't always think that he's, that he's that great of an actor. Uh, Mary Queen of Scots, Sir Ronan is so good in this movie, and... Margot Robbie is great in this movie, too. Costume design is really good. Uh, this movie's not as good as the favorite, but it's still a great period piece. Vice, Kristen Bale as Dick Cheney. Wow, that was really good casting choice. And yet Sam Rockwell as George W. Bush. Now, I watched the movie where Josh Brolin plays George W. Bush, which was also a very good movie, but I actually like Vice more. And basically, it's because of Sam Rockwell and Christian Bale. They do such a great job in this movie, and they have such good evil chemistry. Oh my goodness. The fact that we went through that for eight years. Jeez. <laughs> and unfortunately, we're in the middle of another bad president. Now with Donald Trump. Yeesh. Beale Street. Now this movie is not as good as as the director's previous movie, which was Moonlight. Moonlight was a much better film, but I did like Beale Street. And I thought the direction was really good. The acting in it was really good. 
And finally, we got Stan and Ollie, which is the biopic about Laurel Hardy. This was done so well. The actors that they got to play Lauren Hardy actually felt like Lauren Hardy actually had that iconic chemistry. Uh, Steve Coogan and John C. Riley did such a great job. It's like they channeled the souls of Lauren Hardy into them. It was done that well. And the actresses that they got to play, their wives, Shirley Henderson and Nina Arianda were really good in it too. Rufus Jones is really good. The direction from John S. Baird was done so well. John C. Riley looks so good in, in that fat suit. I think this is John C. Riley's best performance, that and his performance in Chicago. All right, so those are all the movies for Best of 2018. Now we're going to flip the coin and do the worst of 2018. 